Hello everyone, uh, this video we're doing a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, this book right here, uh, not very long, 124 pages, um, the book first came out in 1843, and is basically about an older gen business gentleman named uh, Ebenezer Scrooge, who, um, seven years prior, had lost his business partner, Marley, Bob Marley. And, um, let's say the man was very stingy with his money, not wanting to spend it on much of anything unless it was a necessity. Um, was actually very rude to most everybody. And really wouldn't talk to anybody unless it was, it pertained to business. And he even extended this to his own, one and only nephew. Um, this seemed to change after a visit from not only Marley's ghost, but three spirits. Uh, each one of them coming to him late uh, late at night three nights in a row the uh, the Christmas spirits did um, I think two of them at one in the morning the third one at midnight um, and after the uh, the visits and the experiences he seemed to change Not only his deeds, but his personality, actually, for the better. Um, the, uh, the books, uh, the book and the movies, seem to, they seem to be quite close to each other. There wasn't much deviation when it came to the movies, to the book. Um... There is a few bits here and there that you know were 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 not in the book, um, like uh, two scenes from the 2009 version, where uh, after the the um, the visit from the first ghost, which was the uh, ghost of Christmas past, uh, Ebenezer Scrooge um, pretty much got rid of the ghost by. Uh, taking this, uh, rather enlarged, I mean enlarged, um, candle extinguisher, I really don't know what else to call it, and pretty much got rid of them that way, and instead of just, you know, being gone and done with it, in the movie, it rocketed, it rocketed him up in space. Um, I did watch two, di two different versions of the book. Uh, one in 1984, the other one in 2009. Um, there's a few things that w weren't in, um, in the movies that I think probably should at least elaborated, el elaborated on in the, uh, in the movies. Like the fact that they were in London. Uh, sorry, if I itch my forehead a lot, it's because I got hair tickling my forehead and it itches. Um, let's see, um, in the movies, uh, this kind of irritated me. Uh, in the movies, they made it seem like the visits were all in one night. Like it was like right, one right after the other. When in fact in the books, you know, it was Marley, and then he went to sleep, and he, he seemed to sleep for, you know, the rest of the night, all the next day, and then part of the next night. And was awoken then, and, you know, things seemed to happen with the first ghost and everything. And once he left, he went back to bed, and was awoken with a snore. And, you know, that seemed to happen each each night. 
And, uh, like I said, the movies condensed it all to one night for some odd reason. I don't know if they thought that it would be too confusing for people or if that was just more easy. I don't know. I don't know what they were doing. Um, let's see. Uh, like I said, I, oh, the, most of the dialogue was pretty much, pr pretty much right from the book in both movies. Um, not all the dialogue, but it seemed like quite a bit of dialogue in both movies uh, were the same. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. First ghost witnessing his uh, past events. He actually felt, um, the book said sadness for his former self. I'm guessing, you know, he actually felt kind of bad for the younger version of himself. At least that's what I'm taking away from it. Um, let's see. His friends would be surprised to see his reactions. Um, I'm guessing his friends from then? Uh, from his childhood? Actually, I don't really think he had many friends in his, uh, present time. Um, let's see. Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, when he visited the, uh, time when he was an apprentice, appre apprentice, he actually enjoyed the dancing. Um, yeah, uh, I, I think that was shown at least in the 2009 version that he enjoyed it. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, when the, uh, second ghost came in, um, you know, most of the stuff went with, with that one seemed to be right from the book, um, except for the fact that, uh, just before he, uh, met the, um, the ghost, he was overcome, uh, the book said overcome with a trembling, uh, a, uh, violent trembling, which I'm guessing, you know, this really freaked him out. Um, let's see. The, uh, the weather was horrible when he was with the ghost, but everyone was quite happy, which the happy part was in the, in the book, or in the movie, sorry. Um, Spirit was really interested in the poor, and what, whatever was in his, um, tour, she would sprinkle on everyone around him, and if there was any that was fighting, it would immediately stop. Um... You know, just stuff like that. I think in the uh, 1984 version, they, um, they visited uh, some homeless people and overheard their uh, conversations. But, you know, you know, that, sorry, my brain works a lot faster than my mouth does. Um, they visited a lot of different people in the book that was never shown in either movie. Um, I think at one point in the book they actually visited some um, people out at sea in on a ship. Um, that I think would have been interesting. Um, there was one point I think after the uh, in the 2009 version after the uh, third spirit left. It might have been before. It was Somewhere in the, in the uh, 2009 version, I'm repeating myself, I know, um, that Scrooge was shrunk to, I think, smaller than a rat and was chased and stuff like that. And I actually thought that scene was really, really entertaining. Um, there wasn't that much that was left out that I thought should have been, um, put into, into either movie. But, like I said, it, it, st it followed the book really closely. Not much was left out. Um, only a few things here and there was actually, um, elaborated on, um, put in that really wasn't in the book, but quite entertaining nonetheless. Um, I, su I actually suggest buying the book, 
from Amazon. Um, I can probably, I'll probably have the link down in the description of the book. Um, you can probably find at least one, uh, one copy of it on your own, because I think that, like I said, there's like 40 million uh, different versions of the book out there in, in movie form. Um, I do have more books lined up. Um, I can't promise them to be out soon. I am really being lazy about it, but I will try to have them out as soon as possible. Um, I'm redoing the first two Harry Potter books. Um, the third one is almost done. Um, I've got others that I'm wanting to do. Uh, Stephen King books. Um, the Twilight books. I think with the, uh, new, uh, uh, the host movie. Um, I'll, I'll probably do that one. Um, I will probably hold off on The Hobbit until all the movies have come out. Um, and then I'll probably work on Lord of the Rings with that. Um, there, there's a bunch of others I'm going to do. Um, if there are any books that were made into movies that you'd like to see, um, hell, if, you, if you'd be interested in seeing me do um, uh, movies that were based on comic books, like uh, maybe Thor, X-Men, um, Iron Man, The Hulk, Captain America, you know, whatever. Um, let me know. I'll look into it, see what I can do. Um, I will try to get um, more content out, and I will see you all in the uh, next video. Have fun, and have a nice day.